G'day folks, Corey Hunt here. I hope you're doing well. I wanted to shoot you a reasonably quick video talking about SEO software, in particular Mangools. That's what you can see on the screen here is Mangools. You've probably heard about SEO software as like SEMrush, Ahrefs, Mangools to a lesser extent. There's quite a few out there. And the reason that myself and some other SEO people use Mangools is because, quite frankly, it's a lot cheaper than Ahrefs and Simrush and probably gives you enough information to proceed and do your work. What I've seen with the bigger softwares is they do give you lots and lots of stuff which can be overwhelming and for some people they can lose sight of what's the actual point here and get carried away with stuff which is actually stopping them from doing the important things. So with Mangles, I'm going to walk you through why we use it and also um, the features and help you to understand why you might want to grab it. We are an affiliate for this. Haven't made a cent out of it, but we are. So there are any links you click in the video, um, if you were to buy a version, we might get a little kickback, um, wishful thinking perhaps, but that's the deal. So I probably should say that just to be good. Now, there's really four reasons why we use SEO software. Number one is keyword research. So keyword research is really, really important. What are you trying to rank on Google for? What sort of things should you build your website around? So keyword research is really, really important. Are they the words and phrases people are actually searching for? Is there much search volume for that? All that sort of things. So that's the reason number one is keyword research. Reason number two is rank trackings. So once you've got your website or a, you know your client's website or your own website, you've decided which words you want to rank on Google for, Software like this can allow you to track that and watch your progress. So that's really useful. In fact, for Mangles, that's the primary reason that we use it is for the rank tracking for ourselves and for our clients. And we'll show you that in a moment. We've got a client's uh, results that we can show you and work through that for you. Reason number three would be competitor research. So you might be doing SEO or undertaking SEO activities like content and link building. And you've got a competitor, you're trying to reverse engineer or figure out why they're in front of you. Software like Mangles can help you do that very effectively. So that's the third reason why you would get some sort of software to help you with your SEO. And the fourth one is, is basically finding backlinks. So you probably know that the, the game of SEO or rank it on Google is really a combination of the technical aspects of your website, the links to your website, and the content on your website. All of that combines. Google looks at that and goes, okay, we'll rank these guys up the top. So finding backlinks is a good thing that these resources will give you. Mangles does that. More about looking at your competitors' backlinks to try and see what you need to do to win. So if you look at Mangles here, there's basically five tools that they've got. Okay. So keyword finder, we use that all the time. That is so you can look up a particular website or word or phrase and find keywords and search volume for those keywords. So we use this all the time for research for ourselves and clients. SERP Watcher is the one we use all the time, which which tracks the rankings. So that's something we use all the time. Uh, SERP Checker is kind of like a snapshot of Google at that time for a certain search result. We don't use it very, very much, but that's something that's there. Link Miner is where you can enter a website and look at the backlinks to that website. So if you're researching, you know, your competitor across the road, you're going, oh, why is that tire shop got more Google rankings than us? This will allow you to look at the backlinks that they've got. So you can try and use that intel to develop a better backlink strategy yourself. And site profiler is the thing we use the least, which is basically giving you a bunch of metrics that are mostly invented by other SEO companies to see how well your website ranks with these metrics like domain authority, etc. We don't use that too much. So the two that we use mostly are the keyword finder and the rank tracking. So we'll look at rank tracking first. For Tireworks, which is a client of ours, you'll see that it's got all the keywords. We've done our research. We've used um, keyword finder to decide which words are most important for that business that will result in the right types of people finding that business. And so we've targeted all of these words on their website. And what this tells us is that, for example, uh, Tyres Tauranga, they're currently ranked number one on Google. That's pretty good, obviously. There's around 880 searches per month for that phrase. 
And according to this tool, they estimate that around 262 clicks per month come to that website from that phrase. And that's what that tells you. Tire Shop Tauranga, ranked number one, 480 searches per month. They're getting about 149 clicks per month. These are estimates, but we have found that on Mangles with SERP Watcher, these are very good estimates. And when you're on SERP Watcher, you can click on all these bits up here and you can go to the other parts of Mangles as well. So if we look back at the Mangles homepage, we've got Keyword Finder is the other one that we use. So we can click on that via here. If we go to Keyword Finder, you might decide to um, search in there for tyres tauranga and it'll give you it can change just to your country or your city but it doesn't matter people in new york aren't looking for tyres tauranga so we'll leave it as that and it'll give you some data so this is what you get now you can do this by a domain as well so you could search for their you their url their website but if we're just doing keyword research you know tyres tauranga on this search now so there's around 900 searches per month and that's really the most important information that we get from that and it'll tell us um, this is more about google advertising what it might cost to buy a click using google ads it'll tell you four tires tauranga the current ranking is number one the the businesses below that who are at, nipping at their heel and it'll give you other alternatives here as well that you might want to consider as you do your keyword research so your business might be a mortgage broker you'll pop mortgage broker into there and then it'll give you alternatives on that and the search volume there as well. So you might get surprises like tires Tauranga with the, I think that's the American spelling for tires, also gets another 900 searches per month. So it's interesting, it'll spit up different variations and you can scroll through here and just make notes to yourself. Go, oh, okay, cheap tires Tauranga, we might want to make a note of that. We might want to target that with a page on our website. Um, some of the competitors' names and how much search volume they're getting. And so it's really useful. Keyword Finder is something that we use a lot and it's very useful. So that's for people who we talk to who are doing our courses and things. We always get them to play around with Keyword Finder because, um, you know, Mangles is way, way cheaper than Ahrefs and SEMrush. So you can get lots of research done. Now, this is one of the most important things you can do with your SEO work is deciding what do we want to rank for. So tyres tauranga is obviously something that people are going to search for for a tyre business. So we're going to target that pretty much exclusively for that business. Now when you go back over here, we've got the SERP watcher that we've seen. So we've seen that. These other tools I'm not going to take you through, okay, because you probably won't use them as much. They are useful. Backlink analysis. Actually, let's, let's have a look at that one. It'll tell you the links. I won't go through it, but I'll just show you what it looks like. So what you essentially do is you type in the URL. Let's say you are Tire Works and you've decided to research the business across the road because they're beating you. You type in their URL here and it'll give you all the backlinks pointing to that website. So you can go, uh-huh, uh they've got more backlinks than us or businesses that are closer or niche-specific backlinks or blogs that are international, whatever it might be, you can start to do your research and figure out why that business is ranking better than you via this tool. So really, probably Link Miner and SERP Watcher and Keyword Finder. Because like we said at the start, your keyword research is one of your main reasons for having software. That's that's in there. Your rank trackings, that's in the um, SERP Watcher. And then your competitor research and finding links is really done via Link Miner. Now, before we go anywhere, I want to show you this. So when you go to this URL, which is mangles.com slash SEO extension, this is really cool. So this is a Chrome extension that will give you most of these functions in a cut down version for free. So let's go to the Tireworks Mega website and show you what I mean. So when you go to this here, you download for Chrome, and then all of a sudden you've got this little guy sitting up here in your in the bar up there. You can see that SEO extension from Mangles. So what this allows you to do is you simply click on that and just hang around for a moment, and it'll give you a whole bunch of intel from that SEO extension. Now, how is it possible that this is free? I guess the whole idea is they get you used to using their, their software, and then you want to get the desktop version, the proper full version. But this in itself is pretty cool. The overview itself, 
I don't use too much. But if you look at the keywords, it'll give you some keyword research, which is pretty cool. It's just lagging a little bit. So let's just move on from that. Um, that number there is India. So disregard that. The backlinks, it'll give you the backlinks right here, right now. The rank tracking, it won't give you unless you've set it up. But the on-page SEO, this is super useful because you can go to any website that you're looking at. You know, it might be a competitor. It'll tell you um, what they look like in the search engine results page. It'll tell you the headings that they're using on that page. So which H1 and H2s they're using. It'll tell you about the keywords on that page as well and the density. And that's really useful stuff. It'll also give you some technical advice about the page speed, etc. And certainly um, we use the headings quite a lot. So we'll go through pages of people's websites, look at the heading structure they've got. And this is all via the SEO extension. So pretty cool. Um, as a summary point, I guess I would say at the very minimum, go and get the SEO extension. However, consider going to the homepage and either get in the trial version of Mangles to give it a go for a while or buy the cheap version, the low end version. And it will allow you to, in my opinion, as an SEO professional, it'll give you enough help to achieve what most people need without the overwhelm of the bigger tools and without the high cost of the bigger tools. I really like Mangles. I've actually been using it for about three years now. I've looked at Ahrefs, I've looked at SEMrush, and I've decided that, yes, they've got some cool functions, but I don't really need them. Once I know the competition, what backlinks they've got, what headings and keywords they're using, I just want to get in there, build the backlinks, build the content, get the website ship and sharp so I can track things and just keep doing the work. On the flip side, I've also had clients who run their business who have Ahrefs and SEMrush, and they get these reports with pages and pages and pages of data, which quite simply baffles them and bamboozles them and doesn't help them in the long run. So that's my how to use Mangles uh, summary of the software. And of course, anything that I haven't covered or you need me to explain more fully, just pop it in the comments below. I'll happily explain it because... I want people to know more about this sort of stuff to help them win in the long run. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Bye for now, and I'm sure we'll talk soon.